your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Welcome to Ripview Stadium tonight. It's homecoming where the Dothan Wolves are taking on the Carroll High Eagles. I met Kirkland bringing the action along with Gavin Thomas tonight. It should be an exciting game. This is a must win situation for the Dothan Wolves. They've only been able to win one game this year. They beat Park Crossing by a score of 14 to seven. Now, the Carroll High Eagles come into this game three and two, and they're two and one in uh, Region 5A, Region 2 play, where Dothan is 0 and three in, in 7A, Region 2. So it, it's gonna be a, uh, a really uh, important game. It's homecoming, and maybe the Wolves find a way to win tonight. <laughs> One of the problems Dothan has had this year is scoring. They have not scored uh, over 14 points in any of their games, and they've given up quite a few points. They uh, beat Park Crossing 14 to seven, and um, they lost Enterprise 48-14. They lost Auburn 49-13, Prattville 24-7, and to Gaston County, Florida 42-14. So it's been a, a, a long season for the Wolves and hopefully they can get things going here. So we're set for the kickoff. The Eagles will be receiving. So we have the kickoff. The ball is taken under five. He follows it, but he Gets it back up and brings it out across the 25 to about the 27 yard line. So Carroll be, will be starting in their own 27. First and 10 for Carroll High. But we have a flag on the far side of the field. So that one will probably be uh, it'll be a penalty and we'll probably back up Carol. We'll just have to wait and see and Gavin, it's good to have you here tonight. Yeah, man, I'm looking forward to another wonderful uh, Friday night lights here a homecoming weekend man it uh, it really uh, brings back a lot of great memories, you know uh, Yes, maybe Dothan High Wolves and not the Dothan High Tigers, but when I was a Dothan High Tiger I was homecoming king out on that field, All right. so uh, so I was. I'm really excited about homecoming tonight, and, and looking forward to seeing what this Dothan High uh, team has to offer tonight. We have a celebrity in the house tonight. So it, it, the penalty was against Dothan, so that moves the ball out to the 42-yard line. So great field position for Carroll. Handed off and uh, a gain of about five on first down. So to bring up a second and five. Quarterback goes and he keeps it and he's gonna be run out of bounds at the 50 yard line. Keyshawn Cole is the quarterback for Carroll High. Yeah, man, and Keyshawn Cole is going to be somebody that uh, Dothan is going to really have to uh, have to look at in this game because Keyshawn Cole can really light it up. Uh, he can he can throw the ball very well. I think. Uh, his uh, last game, was, he did he did a very good job uh, throwing the ball, passing, so we definitely need to make sure our cornerbacks are ready. They hand it off the person, and he goes forward, and he should have enough for a first down. Second down, uh, right, right, it was first down, so it's a second down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so uh, man, that was just a, a, a good play by the Dothan defense there, doing a good job of uh, stopping them there. Yeah, now we have second and about nine here. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see if this uh, Dothan defense can rise up and stop them here. And they're going to swing the ball out to number seven receiver, and he's going to take it all the way to the 15-yard line. Wow, what a great play there by the Carroll uh, the Carroll team there. Uh, number 12, uh, Keyshawn Cole just swung the ball out to number seven there. Uh, Jalen Plott, and uh, I have heard that Jalen Plott has got some speed on him. Uh, now, it does look like that there was a flag on the play, and Doja is going to, man, they are going to really uh, be in a good, good position here after a, uh, a very good play by Carroll Dothan that with the penalty on the play against the Carroll uh, team, then uh, the Dothan now, Carroll would now have the ball, and it's going to be second and long. For Carroll. Dothan's got to find a way to get something going because that was a big play. Could have been a, a big play. If oh, yeah, that, that was penalty huge. On the play. So it's a second and 12. And a good defensive pursuit that time by the Wolves. And on that tackle was number 56, Stanyard. So a loss of about a yard, so it brings up a third and 13. Person is in the backfield, and Keyshawn Cole is the quarterback. Cole drops back, and he Ooh. dumps it off to Person, and he's hit, and he gets just across the... Well, he's it's fourth down. He picked up about four yards. Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, Carroll will go for it here, just of where they're at on the field, I admit. But uh, that was just you know a third, a third and long, and trying to get a screen play to get some uh, trunk yardage. So they got really fast to the line there. You see that, Mitt? And uh, now they're holding out and uh, gonna let this clock run out, maybe. Oh, and oh. looked like, wow, oh, Dolphin man. had him, and he was able to escape. Oh, wow. Oh, he did Almost not catch an interception it. by Dolphin. Man. So, yeah, so. good good job by the Dothan defense there to uh, stop him on that fourth down. And now Dothan's got great field position to start their first drive of the night. It's just looking, really looking forward to seeing this Dothan offense. Hadn't seen him in a while. Uh, kind of been away uh, uh, and, and doing some other different uh, games for – for scenic and, and I've loved that, but uh, it is good to be back at uh, Ripu Stadium tonight. So Dothan will be starting on their own 47-yard line, which is great field position. First and ten, and we have mm. a flag, and we'll see who it's against. It's against Dothan, and that's been a problem for them all year, uh, Gavin. They have shot themselves in the foot so many times because of penalties, and it puts them behind the chain. Yeah, absolutely. It, we're we're going to have to beat Carroll, not beat ourselves and Carroll, and I think that's a big, uh, big thing going forward. Pass complete, and it gets back to about the uh, original line of scrimmage that was completed to uh, Jury. So it brings up a second and 11 for the Wolves. Oh, it looks like a little Wildcat action here, Mitt, uh, coming up. And now they uh, move our uh, Quentin Norton, who I believe used to be a running back or a defensive back right. at one point. And they give it to Norton, and he plows ahead for about three. Got a Dothan guy down here. Um, you hate to see this really, you know, right here at the start of the game. Yes. So with 8.01 left in the first, no score between Dothan and Carroll. So uh, that was Cassius Brady that was injured number 70, and they move him over to the sideline. 
So it's a third and about eight for Dothan. Pass oh, is complete, pass. and it's enough for a Dothan first down. Yeah, that was a great play by Dothan there. You know, it's really good to see this Dothan offense, uh, you know, uh, on clicking on cylinders here with the uh, the first drive of the game. Uh, really nice pitch and catch there uh, by, by Dothan. And it's good to see uh, that's uh, Jeremy L. Jackson back. He was injured a couple weeks ago, okay. so it's good to see him back. And that's Octavius Thomas, number four, that is running back. They give it to Thomas, and he flies across the uh, – 40 down to about the 39 for a, a good gain on first down. He picked up uh, close to five. Okay. So we're going to assess a second and six with a gain of four. And they give it to Thomas again. He breaks through, and he picks up another Dothan first down down to the 30-yard line. Yeah, that's exactly right. And great job there by Dothan. Uh, and, and I think you're going to see a lot of Octavius Thomas here doing a great job. Um, and I, I, I give it to the offensive line, too. They're getting a good push off the ball. And I think you're going to see a lot of run, uh, you know, a lot of running plays by Dothan tonight. So it's the first and 10, the ball at the 32-yard line. Going deep. Goes deep Ooh. right off the fingertips. Mm. That yeah. was right off the fingertips of Blackman. Man, man, that was close. But, unfortunately, Dothan is going to uh, come up with a hold here, it looks like, uh, which is going to push us back another 10 yards, which is going to – you know, we talked about it. You know, you, you really uh, – you shoot yourself in the foot like you talked about. And now – when you were, uh, you know, on first down, it was first and ten, and now you're looking at a first and twenty. That's a, it's a big difference, you know. You get yourself behind the sticks like that, and uh, it's, uh, you're working up on an uphill battle. And, and that's been the story this entire season for the Wolves is penalties, and they've just got to be more disciplined and and make some good decisions, and they can win some games. So now it's first and twenty. Pass is complete. And a good run after the catch. That was completed over to Braxton. Yeah, it was good. Just a little uh, dig route there for five yards and then was able to make something happen on his feet uh, for another maybe five yards. But, man, man you, you know, you're, you're still second and second and long here, and you really got to get a chunk, uh, a chunk play to make this thing manageable on third down. Yeah, that was a gain of about probably about – Four. It oh, looked like no. somebody moved early. Uh, well, I hope so because this is rough. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna. They may. They yeah. may have. Is that a yellow flag over there? I can't tell. No, no yellow flag. But it looked like Man. that uh, Carroll. It 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 uh, did, moved early. It did look like that. I think that's what the uh, coach is talking about here. But. Uh, I think the the refs just asking for the coaches to go ahead and get on the sideline, but uh, man, what a uh, what, what a unfortunate series of events here at this first uh, this first drive. This drive started on Dothan's forty seven, on forty seven, and, and we're pretty uh, much right back there. Right, and we are, <laughs> and actually we're two yards from there. And, and the thing is, now first down, you got to get to the 32-yard line of Carroll in order to get a first down. So they, yeah. they've uh, really hurt themselves on this initial drive of the game for the Wolves. Yeah, they really have. And, and one thing to, th to you know, talk about, like what's happening right here, we're not, we're not playing at the moment, and that's because both, both sidelines have been kind of warned right now that they're getting too close to the field. So that's something to think about uh, as we go through this game because – uh, it may hurt one team or the other if uh, there's a penalty in that for each team. So it brings up a third, third in third and half a football field. A third and slow <laughs> commit. It's 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 a it's a long way, but oh oh, boy that time okay. Jackson was able to All break right, the tackle. Let's see it. 
and get away. And boy, hey. he, he made up a lot of ground that time. It looked like it was going to be a sack. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be a loss of at least six to seven yards there. And honestly, with just the athletic ability of our, our quarterback there, we we're able to you know now send our uh, our punting team out and maybe pin them back uh, a little bit right here for uh, the Carroll's second possession. So that was very important for our, uh, for our quarterback to kind of get the field for, uh, for Dothan. Adam Watford is the punter. Carroll don't have anybody back. Yeah, I see that. That's, I guess they were going for like a safe option just in case that Dothan was going to um, – fake the uh, punt, but uh, wow, this turned out to be a pretty good play there for Dothan. We're going to uh, go ahead and uh, get him uh, backed up back to the 10-yard line to start uh, Carroll's possession. So they really flipped the field on that one because Dothan was going in the wrong direction, and uh, Jackson on just pure athleticism was able to get away from a defender and pick up some valuable yards, and they were in pretty good position to punt, and it flipped the field. Yeah, they, they did a good job of flipping the field. But really, I mean, Mitt, I mean, we're on we were on the 30-yard line. You know, had a lot of momentum, and, and our offense was doing well. So what I did see out of our offense was uh, our running back is uh, is doing well. Uh, like I said, you're going to see a lot of Octavius Thomas. And it's good to see our uh, quarterback, Javier, back, back, uh, back tonight. Another Whoa. screenplay. Good screenplay. Missed tackle. Another, Another missed tackle, and out to the 25-yard line. That was a gain of 15. Number nine, Dakota McLeod. That is another one to, that we need to look out for, because uh, that's some uh, that's some mean running in the in the, uh, in the trenches there. He, he did a good job of taking that screen, and uh, man, just a great play call by Carroll, because Dothan was not ready for that. Dothan was in a position to make a tackle, and it and turned out to be a big game. That was a better job by Dothan up front. The defensive front there was able to really get a push on the ball, and that's what we got to have with this Carroll uh, offensive line. There's some big boys down there. When I look down there, they can match up with uh, Dothan pretty well. So. Uh, we just needed to, to show that we're more hungry here for on this homecoming that we want it more. Cole is the quarterback. He drops back. He rolls out. And uh, they're going to yeah, say they're it was gonna complete. Say that's a catch. And it was completed over to number seven, Plot. Yeah, I, I, I'm really liking what I'm seeing by this uh, this quarterback here, number 12, Keyshawn Cole, doing a really good job of rolling out when there's pressure. And then, uh, man, it, it really it was a nice throw on the run. Uh, I, you know, with us uh, being a high school, we don't really have uh, we don't have instant replay, so we don't really know what happened with the ball. So it will uh, be first and ten, the ball at the 30. Seven yard line. A hand it off, and it goes to uh, number four again. That's a uh, person. Not much there. Dothan did a, a good job of not letting that play develop. A gain of one, so it brings up a second and nine. And we know K uh, Carroll is very capable of putting some points on the board. They've scored uh, over 40 points in three of their five games. Oh, wow. Okay. So Dothan gets a break there. Brooks, uh, not Brooks, but uh, Cole is down. He loses about his back. Uh, it's going to be a third and about 13. Yeah, it's going to be important for the Dothan defense to really keep everything in front of them here on this third and, third and long here. Uh, just don't. You also want to make sure you contain the pocket because this uh, this kid uh, Keyshawn Cole can run. Cole is the quarterback in the backfield. With him is Person. 
Cole drops back. He looks. He goes deep. And we're going to have a flag. Well, they're not going to. Oh, wow. That was some bopping going on, but. Yeah, I think uh, maybe the flag wasn't thrown because I think both of them were kind of doing a little hand uh, hand uh, fighting going down the field. So, uh, looks like Dothan did a good job of uh, the, the Dothan defense did their job and stopped the Carroll offense there. And uh, looks like Dothan's going to have another great field position uh, to start their second drive on offense. Back deep for Dothan is uh, Braxton Hornsby. Dothan's got to come up with a way to, 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 to put together a drive. They have not been able to, this year, they have not been able to really sustain any drives. Yeah, you know, and that's really important for any football team just to get a rhythm, whether it be on offense or defense. You hear the word rhythm, and, you know, on offense, it's very, very important to get in a rhythm. Uh, so... That would buy Carroll up five yards. Wants to be back deep. And he takes it at the 41. Oh He's man. across midfield. And he returns it. And oh, he's wow. Going he's going to do it, Mitt. Hornsby's going to take it. it to the house. Woo. Touchdown, Wolves. Man, and here comes the lights, Mitt. Don't we love this? Wow, what a great play by the Wolves. That was a 59-yard return Woo, for a touchdown. 59-yard punt return. Now, that's one way to really light this place up. Yes. No pun intended. We thought he was going to go down. He was hit, but he broke a tackle, and he broke away. That's exactly right. Uh, Braxton Hornsby, is that right? Did a great job on that play. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful play. Great athlete. Returning at 69 yards. He took that one on the 41. And he took it to the house. Delta needed something like that because they hadn't been able to do anything. So the extra point is good. So Dothan goes up 7 nothing with 1.28 left in the first. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Okay, Dothan scores on a punt return, and they haven't had an offense, but the special teams did a very fine job. Yeah, they did a great job. And, and when you don't have rhythm on offense or defense, a, a big play can come from your special teams to really get – either one the offense or the defense going and i hope that happens tonight i know again uh the game against prattville the special teams uh really made a difference in that game yeah you, you hate to see this you know you line up and you kick the ball after so much great momentum after that score and then you kick the ball out of bounds mitt and you give them an extra 20 something yards you know so uh it's just important for the, the, the Dothan defense to go back out there and uh, do their job just like they've been doing their job tonight. Because that's one thing what we have done well is the Dothan defense has, has stood up and uh, stopped the Carroll Eagles. Yeah, so uh, Dothan against Prattville, they uh, had an interception that led to a touchdown. So... We'll see if Dothan can get things going defensively here as Carroll start on their own 35. And uh, Carroll has committed a couple of costly penalties too. They had great start and field position. Now that moves them back to the 30 yard line yeah they have and it's been some penalties that has really helped Dothan that big play uh in the first quarter that I, I can think about is uh something that helped Dothan a lot and not much there 
That was our person on the carry. So it brings up a second and 13. Pass is complete over to number 11. That's uh, Jordan DeCambry. Yeah, that was a great play there by Keyshawn Cole, but even better play by the defensive back there uh, to stop him and, and not get the first down. And now we're looking at a third down five. Cole goes deep. Wow, what a catch, but was he inbound? I think he was, man. I think wow. they're going to say he's definitely inbound. Man, that was a throw that time. And it was completed over to uh, number nine. Yeah, McLeod. 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 No, it's McLeod. 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 Yeah. And, I, I mean, that's just a great catch. Yeah, a great throw by Keyshawn Cole. It was a little bit underthrown. But uh, a lot of times when you underthrow the ball, the receiver can look back for the ball and come back to the ball. So great job by McLeod to come back to the ball and catch it as high as. Cole keeps it, and he drives forward for about six. We're going to give him seven, and the ball is inside the 20. Yeah, the Eagles have done a good job, you know, Dothan with that punch, uh, with, with that punch in the end zone there, the, the last possession by the punt return. The Eagles have kind of answered the bell here, going down the field methodically. So it brings up a second and three. The ball inside there is right at the 20 yard line. So we've come to the end of the first quarter play and the score is Dothan seven, Carroll nothing. We'll be back with the uh, second quarter of action after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. Welcome back to Rip Hughes Stadium. I'm Mitt Kirk along with uh, Gavin Thomas tonight. And Gavin's good to have you tonight. And so far, it's been a pretty exciting game. Yeah, it has been. And uh, thank you for having me, Mitt. And uh, it's just good to be back home. Uh, you know, homecoming here at Dothan and uh, at Rip Hughes Stadium. And I'm coming home because this is my home. <laughs> and it uh, looks like our crowd, we got a good crowd tonight. And a lot of people have come to cheer on the Wolves. It's good to see that. So Carroll has a second and about four. The ball on the 20-yard line. Cole out to person. No gain on the play. It brings up a third down. Yeah, a little bit of a scheme that I'm picking up here uh, that, that the Eagles are doing. A lot of screen plays. A lot of screen plays. A lot of dinks and dunks is what they're called. And uh, Dothan is doing a better job now uh, pushing up. Uh, and getting to these uh, receivers that are open. Cole keeps it, goes up the middle, and he goes to the outside. Damn. He's got the first down, and he could take it to the house. Mm. And I think he's going to be yeah. he's in for he's the good. touchdown from about uh, 20 yards out. Well, you know, just like I talked about a minute, you know, Dothan kind of had the first punch there with uh, the punt return. And uh, give it, you know, I give props to the Eagles to come out and swing and get the second punch uh, by uh, getting that uh, quarterback run for the touchdown. Mm -hmm. 
extra point up, and it's good. So, with the 11.22 left in the second, the score is Dothan 7 and Carroll 7. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. So, Carroll tops off a 65-yard drive with a 20-yard touchdown run by the quarterback, Cole. And uh, we've got to see if Dothan can come back and score. Dothan's only points have come on a punt return for a touchdown. It was a 69-yard punt return. That's exactly right, Matt. But we got to get back to that first possession uh, that we had on offense whenever we were we were in rhythm and we were running the ball and we were uh, we were getting some really good receptions uh, and moving the sticks and so. I think that's what you got to tell your guys coming out here on the offense is let's just do what we do. Let's run the ball and let's, let's just get first downs and work our way down the field. So Dothan will be starting at their own 20-yard line. We'll see if they can answer Carroll High School. Jackson is the quarterback. In the backfield with him is number four, Tavius Thomas. Oh, gosh. And he another. fumbles the ball, and Did he get well, they recovered it. Dothan recovered it, but that's a loss of about six. Yeah, th these unforced mistakes, you know. Th these are mistakes that, that uh, you, you are doing yourself, and the, the defense is not necessarily committing those mistakes uh and we keep talking about how dothan has been behind the chain all season and they, they've got to do a better job they got to be more disciplined and more focused and stop making those little mistakes that are causing thomas drives forward for a couple of yards yeah you know i think a lot of people take it for granted but the, the most important part of the field is the ball <laughs> and you've got to hold on to that ball and you have like you have to take care of it and uh it, I, i've seen the the snap ha has been a little bit off tonight which uh, is something they've got to work on so it's a third and 12. jackson looks screen pass mm -hmm. and it's incomplete it was intended for uh, peterson so dothan will go three and out after carroll's puts together a 65-yard uh, drive and scored on their last possession. Yeah, you know, that's just really deflating one for the offense to, to go out there and kind of sputter with a couple of mistakes on the snap. And, you know, with the snap, it, it's about rhythm, like we talked about. And if you don't have that rhythm of getting the snap back to their quarterback, he doesn't. he's not in rhythm to get the playoff like he's supposed to. So uh, everybody has to work together. It's a team, it's a team sport. Adam Watford is the punter for Dothan. Gets a good high punt. That was a great punt. And it Dang. takes a Ooh. Dothan roll for wow. a punt. Boy, he flipped the field. Wow. It goes down to about the 16-yard line. That's a 70-yard. That's like a – I'm sorry. That, I'm, I'm <laughs> over here trying to count, and I don't – I'm a media guy, so I don't count a lot. But, but he, he punted that, it from inside the 10. He, and he punted that from inside the 10-yard line, and it is all, all the way back to at least the 15 over here. The, so we're I looking think at they're going to mark it at the 16. So we're looking at a 75-yard punt. Is that right? It was at least 50 in the air, and then it rolled another probably 20, right? That's 40. Wow. Again, I'm not good at math, but that, that's a that's long That's about 70 punt. yards. It was about that seven, is a long punt. Uh, a great job to flip the field just like you were talking about. That's huge. Wow. That was a great punt <laughs> that time from Adam Watford. He keeps doing that. He's going to be going on to the next level. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> 9.55 left in the first, and nothing there. And on that stop for Dothan was number 56. That for sure helps his average for the season, don't you think? Yeah, that was Stan Yard. <laughs> and uh, no gain on the play, so it brings up a second and ten for the Carroll High Eagles. We're tied at seven apiece, nine and a half minutes left in the first half. It's homecoming for the Dothan Wolves. This is a, a, a pivotal game for in this uh, 
season for the Wolves. And the pass is complete. And they move it out to the 30, so it's enough for a first down. Yeah, another great throw by Keyshawn Cole there for the Eagles. And, yeah, he's just doing a good job of three steps back and firing off of his front foot, which is just incredible to see a high school football player do that. Uh, we, we see college players on the next level have problems with a three-step back on the front foot, throwing it with a lot of zip on the ball, um, which is uh, it's very impressive by Cole. They give it a purse, and he goes up the middle, and he's hit and stopped after a gain of about three, and on the stop was number 28 for the Wolves, and that would be uh, Kendrell Brewer. A gain of three brings up a second and seven. I tell you, Carroll has been able to, to make some big plays tonight. Cole drops back, and he overthrew his receiver. That was number 14, uh, Stephen McIntosh, was the intended receiver. Yeah, it was just a little bit too high, a little bit too much on the ball that time. Uh, so it brings up a third and seven for the Eagles. And I tell you, Dothan needs to get. Uh, this, this one's important. Uh, and, and the reason why it's important is because it's third and seven and your defense is tired. They've been on the field most of the game, and the defense really needs to stop right here. Cole drops back. He's being pursued. And, oh no. and he's going to be stopped short of the first down, but we have a flag near the. 50 yard line yeah that's a tough place for a flag and uh, it may be uh, and it's probably I'd that part of the field is probably against Dothan. I, that's kind of what i'm thinking maybe holding on the defense eh? i i try not to speculate here but just the way that the flag was thrown and in the position it was thrown i'm not sure what we're going to have here So it was uh, third and seven. And we'll see what the call is. I think it's gonna be on us, Mitt. Yeah. yeah. Just what we anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what the call is. Holding, yeah. Holding against Dothan, so yeah, it's it, you know it's tough for those defensive backs back there. They're they're, they're doing a fairly good job of, of uh, defending these receivers, but when you've got a quarterback that can run back there and extend the play, it's just hard for you to to continue to defend the uh, receiver. So it was a uh, third and seven. So that would be enough for a. First down, so it'll be first and ten at the 45 of Carroll. So Carroll is is come out and uh, Dothan. Uh, we we talked about the penalties and it's just uh, they've got to do a better job. They really have struggled with penalties this year. Yeah, that's a tough call. Yeah, you really want to get off the field there on a third and seven play. And I, if it wasn't for the holding, they would have gotten off the field. Absolutely. Yeah. Now you just got to dig down deeper and stop him. There you go. Well, a missed tackle, Man. but good. Okay. A good pursuit that time by number two and number seven for Dothan. Number two is is uh, Zay Henry, and number 11 is Jason Thomas. Yeah, you know, that's another screen, little swing pass there. And, uh, you know, Dothan just did a good job of pursuing, like you said. And the pack of wolves came that time instead of just one. So it brings up a second in about 13. A good positive uh, defensive play by the Wolves. Cole rolls out and he finds his receiver. 
picks up a first down. That was complete over to uh, McLeod. Wow, another great job by Keyshawn Cole. And not, not only is he rolling out on that play, he's rolling out to his left and he throws with his right. So what he's gonna have to do there is he's rolling out, he's going to have to take his his uh, pelvis and reach it back to get the ball over to his receiver. Great play by Keyshawn Cole. So it brings up a first and 10. The ball is on the Dothan side of the field. The ball at the 44 yard line. Another penalty. Well, I think it's that's going to be delay of game. Yeah, so that will bite the Eagles up five yards. So to bring up a, a first and 15. This drive started on the Eagles 16 yard line after a really great punt by Watford of Dothan. A 70 yard punt. See this play coming before it ever started. They had uh, four wide receivers over here, kind of like a diamond formation and uh, just threw it to the receiver with three blockers in front of him just to see what he could get. Yeah. But Dothan did a good job of bottling him up. That was completely person, so it brings up a second and 11. And and uh, they're just, they just flipped it, so now it's just going the other way. You see that, Mitt? Yeah. The exact same play, just going the other direction with a fake. Cole keeps it and takes it down to the 40-yard line. So that time, if you saw them, they, they flip the formation and then they fake it, they fake the throw and run with the quarterback. So you're kind of seeing some scheme there from the, uh, from the Carroll coaches there. So it brings up a third and seven. Dothan really needs to get Carroll off the field here. They really do. Mm -hmm. This is because their, their defense is, is just worn out because they have been on the field. Dothan's last possession was a three and out. Yeah, this is another pivotal uh, third down, and you can see how pivotal it is by Carroll calling a timeout here. And, and Carroll's last possession, they put together a uh, 65 yard scoring uh, drive. So, you know, Dothan's got to do a little better. With 5.53 left in this second, the score is Dalton 7, Carroll 7. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Third and seven for the Carroll High Eagles. I wouldn't be shocked here, Mitt, if uh, they told them in the uh, huddle over there at the timeout, hey, get what you can, but we're going for it on fourth down. Cole rolls out. Oh, and it's picked dead. off. Interception. Great that time, a great anticipation that time by uh, Dumas Moore. And Man, he waited play. and he jumped around and he picked that one off. Man, what a play. I mean, we talked about it. Keyshawn Cole rolling out again to his left. And what does the defensive back do? He's sitting there, he's staring at his eyes. Dumas Moore, he's sitting there, he's staring at his eyes and he's saying, all right, I got you this time. Well, what's now, going on here? I, it, it is Dothan's ball. They just, okay, they're just they're just putting it where okay. where it was. All right. Well, that's exciting. That's a great turnover, and that's exactly what we needed here for Dothan. Now we just got to get some offense going. So Dothan starting on the 39-yard line. Wow. And Jackson is wow. able to get away. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that play was stopped pretty and, and defended pretty well, but uh, Dothan and Javier did a great job of getting getting some yardage there. Yeah, Jackson did a good job of turning the loss into a gain of about six. Quick out. Make a man miss. And not much there. That was complete over to Blackman. And you know what? They've tried that play all season. 
it hadn't worked. <laughs> I'm telling you, I haven't seen it produce any yards. You know, and it's interesting because it works against us, but it's just not working for us. And good run that time by Octavius Thomas. And he picks up a Dothan first down. Yeah, that was great. Great job by the Dothan offense there to get the first down. Just needed to go ahead and just move the sticks to get this drive to continue going. So get the, that defense some rest. The Wolves are in the Eagles territory. Oh, Quick out. Oh, and no. it's intercepted. Oh. oh, no. He didn't Oh, he was it. out of nope. bounds. Wow. Woo. Dothan got a break there. And what did we say about that same play? The those, play before. Those little swing passes, you're right. They're not working. Uh, and, and what I was saying kind of earlier is they're working against our defense. Uh, and I think that's very frustrating uh, to, for our coaches to see that it's working against us, but it's not working for us. But with that being said, we have to go to something different. We right. talked about that before as we continue to do the same play over and over again. So it brings up a second and 10. Pass is complete for the first down. And uh, well, we'll see. Yeah. That was Blackman yeah. on the reception. We'll see if they give it his forward progress. Yes, it's enough for a first down. And they need to mix it up more like that. Uh, right. And, and, you know, I go back to the only Dothan game I've kind of been to, and that was Park Crossing, which we've won, the only game we've won. And we did a really good job of mixing things up with the uh, Wildcat. And that negative play was turned into a couple of positive yards. Mm -hmm. That was a... Uh, Flew Allen. He made something out of it because uh, he was he was stopped at least two or three yards behind the line. So it brings up a second and nine for the Wolves. We're down to three minutes and 41 seconds left. Oh, no. And we have a penalty. Nothing's pointing toward Carroll, but we'll see what the officials say. It's going against Dothan, so. And we go again, shooting ourselves in the foot. A good, a good drive. You got some rhythm going, some, some, some good offensive plays, and then just a little offensive, you know, false start can really mess you up. So it's the second and 14 now. There you go. Give it to Flew Allen. He spins out of a couple of tackles. And he drives, he picks up the first down. Ooh, Allen, they brought him into the game. He's giving the Wolves a little spark. Yeah, he has, and uh, he's, he's running he's running hungry, and I like that. You know, uh, when you see that uh, that linebacker coming at you, you you're either going to get hit or you spin out of it. He did a great job of spinning out of it. So first and 10 ball at the 25-yard line of the Eagles. Jackson drops back. Oh, touchdown. touchdown! Touchdown Wolves, here we go with the light show again. Man, what a great play. 35 yard touchdown pass over to uh, Blackman. Yeah, and I, I gotta give J.P. or Jackson credit there. Uh, a great, a great throw. Had plenty of time too. Offensive line, great job. Uh, get kudos on that play because it's, uh, you definitely helped by giving the quarterback time to throw the ball. I, man, I, I, this Dothan team's come to play tonight for homecoming, Mitt. Yes, they have, and that was a, a perfect pass. And we have a flag. We'll see what it's about. Sometimes you can get a little overexcited, Mitt, right there on the uh, – well, it, that was goal. against uh, Is it Carroll. Oh, it's against Carroll. Okay. So that will move the ball half the distance. Uh, a couple of feet. I don't think that's going to hurt our field goal kicker much. He's, he's got a leg on him. That is William McCarthy. Is the extra point for the extra point. And it's off the mark. No, it's good. It, it looked did. like it. It, it didn't look very good <laughs> from here, but it uh, looked like maybe our angle was a little off. Yeah, it looked like it kind of sliced to the left, but Dawson goes up by a score of 14-7. to seven. 
and uh, over Carroll with 2.57 left in the first half. Okay, Dothan kicks off. And uh, they put together a 61-yard drive. Capped off with a 20-yard touchdown pass. I mean, a 35-yard touchdown pass from Jackson to Blackman. Yeah. That was probably the best-looking drive of the night. Yeah, I would say that's the best-looking drive I've kind of seen of the year, uh, Mitt, but that was just a great drive for sure. And what happened here? Another penalty. Probably offside, though, for the flag is on the other side of the field yeah. near the 40-yard line. And uh, but here's here's something to remember about this game, Gavin. Dothan has not scored over 14 points in a game this year. Well, so and if they can, if they can get over that hump, that that is a that's going to be a big challenge for them. But also, I don't think Dothan has played a lot of games where they've been in front, and so you really got to be able to sustain a lead once you get a lead. Right, so they're up 14-7 with just under three minutes left in the in the uh, first half. McCarthy will kick again, and the ball is taken on the 18-yard line. Uh oh, and uh -oh. he reverses field. Uh oh. Missed tackle, nice. and he returns it to oh, the 50. Ooh, but we got a flag, here? and I think it's going to be against Dothan. Away from yeah. the play. And yeah. that's going to give Carroll great field position. Uh, especially if you tack on a personal foul here. Yeah, and that's what it looks like was a personal foul. Yeah, there was definitely some extracurricular going on right here by the 40-yard line. And it was away from us. the play. It was. It was away way from away the from the play. Play, and those are the kind of things you can't afford to do. No. That's just – You got to get cool. up and, and try to pursue the play. Against Dothan. Yep. So that's going to add 15 more yards. Yeah, I was hoping it would be offsetting, but it doesn't look like it was. It looked like it was just Dothan on the play that was – that's just – that's yeah. uncalled for. Yeah, yeah, it is. And you just you, – your offense just made a great – put together a great drive. And now you have put Carroll in scoring position. You know, they will start on the Dothan side of the field. Yeah. Deep in the Dothan side of the field. At the Dothan 35-yard line. Yeah, wow. that's exactly right. And, uh, that's tough. Yes, it is. And, and when you got uh, Cole back there as quarterback, he, he, he can do some things and do them quick. Yeah, this Dothan defense better watch out because this is whenever they, they hit quick. They hand it off the person. He goes down the middle, and he's hit at about the 30. Again, up close to five. Yeah, I'm surprised they're running here. Uh, they don't have a lot of time. Uh, we're coming on about two minutes here. Uh, look to see the Eagles kind of speed it up. Cole hands it off again to Person, and he drives forward, and he has enough for a first uh -oh. Well, uh -oh. we have a flag, and I think it's going to be against Carroll. Yeah. Uh, man, this this is getting a little choppy out here. These uh, players, yeah. you know, they're they're close enough. This is Ozark for people that don't know where Carroll's at. Ozark's pretty close to Dothan, and uh, you twenty may have minutes some, away. You may have some players that know each other. I've seen a lot of. Uh, oh, oh, that's against no. Dothan. Oh, it's gonna be offset. Oh, oh yeah, offset and penalty, so they'll replay the down. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, chirping, you know, with each other and. Uh, these refs aren't going to have it. They're going to they're gonna call these penalties. So we have to be disciplined and, and just get away from the play if it gets. Well, uh, I thought they would replay it down, but it's going to be a first, first down, down for Carroll. I guess from the spot of the foul is where. Yeah, because it was after it was the play. It was a post play. Yeah, it was after the play. First down for Carroll at the 
23-yard line of Dothan. This drive started on the Dothan 35. Cole keeps it. Oh, another flag. And he cuts back to the inside. Man, he is quick, he but is. I think that one probably is going to come back. I think it's going to come back to maybe holding. That's yeah, it's in it the area of holding. Like. Which is going to help Dothan here. Oh, illegal shift, which is still on Carroll. Wow, that was a big break for Dothan. That Tuffin. was a big break because they were going to have the ball at the five-yard line. So we're down to a minute and 52 left in the first half. Dothan's up by 7-14-7. Seven, seven. Right now, Carroll is content with running the ball with, you know, 152. It'll be it'll well, they be can be content because <laughs> Harrison and Cole, they can run it. So. That's true. Okay. They're doing a good job, but you it know. is going to be interesting to see if they air it out here soon. So it brings up a first and 15 for the Carroll High Eagles. Cole rolls out, and he cuts back to the inside. Boy, yeah, he is hit hard by number five. That was uh, James Dowdy for a doping. Yeah, that was just a great play. They had the blockers out there blocking for Keyshawn Cole, but uh, Dowdy get, was able to get through the blockers and get to his guy. And uh, Carroll has two timeouts left. Yeah, I think they're uh, – it, it looks like Mitt, they're running this thing down so that Dothan doesn't get a possession themselves right here at the end of the half, which is smart to an extent. Well, but if you're in scoring position – Oh, this is going to happen. They get a sack. Man, a that's sack. Big. And that was uh, Zay Henry with the sack. That's a loss of 25 yards, Mitt. Zay Man. Henry is a sells and miss commit. And he has a lot of speed and quick. Shoof. Yeah. Uh, that uh, Keyshawn Cole's pretty quick, and he could not get away from uh, We could not, He could not get away from him. And we've seen uh, – We've seen Henry do that a couple of times this year. So with 58 seconds left in the first half, the score is Dothan 14, Carroll 7. It will be third and 29. The ball back across the 40-yard line at about the 42-yard line for Carroll. Yeah, man, if I'm these DBs, I'm looking for uh, – he's going to air it out. He's going to throw Cole it drops back. Deep. There you and go. Dothan got a hand on that one. That was the uh, number five. Again. Dowdy got a hand on He's made a couple of big he plays did. tonight. He made a couple of big plays just in this drive alone. And uh, it, it's interesting to see here. Maybe Carroll's going to punt the ball. Yeah, they'll have to punt with 52 seconds left. Which will give Dothan time on offense. We have uh, three timeouts in our pockets, which is. Right. And Dothan did a good job on that defensive uh, series. Probably one of the best they've done because Carroll started in Dothan territory. Oh, yeah, and, and they were driving, and they, they were going to score. If we did not have that big defensive play by Henry to uh, to sack the quarterback. Back deep for Dothan is uh, Dury. Dothan has had a punt return for a oh. touchdown, and that one Take it. goes out of bounds at about the 20 three-yard line. There's another flag on the field, Mitt. Is that a shocking thing for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Uh, hey, we can call it laundry night. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of flags are flying. Uh, we can call it flag day. Flag, flag day, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of names. We can call it laundry yep. day, flag day, a laundry flag day. Yep. Uh, well, yellow wood. No, yep, yellow. Yep, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, so uh, well, hey, uh, Mitt, I, I, I got to talk about this because this is really fun and awesome. We got a treat at halftime tonight. Yes, we do. We have a treat, and they are going to uh, – I'm really excited to see Tuskegee come in. They are coming in to uh, play for us at halftime for homecoming here in Dothan, and we're I'm pumped about it. That, that's That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, is it? The call is a. I, I'm uh -oh. not sure what's going on. 
Looks like that. Is the offense coming back on the field? Uh, as long as Keyshawn Cole doesn't come back on the field for the Eagles, I think we'll be okay. Because uh, I think Dothan will be happy with a 14-7 lead at half. What do you think, Mitt? Wow. This is going to back him up a good bit, though. Wow. So it'll be first. Oh, it's a personal foul. On <laughs> wow. Man, a lot of personal fouls on Dothan. Yeah. and I'd and hate to be in the locker room at halftime. <laughs> yeah, so I would too. <laughs> well, I would like to be in there. No, well, yeah, I'm sure you. Time. I'm sure you'd love to see <laughs> what they're saying in there, but uh, uh, I'm talking about a student. First and ten, 44 seconds left in the in the first half. Dothan starting on the 12 yard line. Ooh, nice. Oh, wow! Flew Allen breaks a tackle and moves the ball out to the 25. Yeah, Flewellen, I mean, he's he's not a big boy back there at running back, but, man, he's small, and he can get in some little tight spaces, and he's doing a good job of getting elusive and breaking out and uh, get some good runs for, for Dothan in the second uh, quarter. That was a gain of about 15. They give it to Flewellen again, and he goes forward for a couple of yards. Yeah, man, I think they're going to be content with a 14-7 lead going into the half here. I am, yeah. kind, I am kind of um, – it is kind of interesting the Eagles didn't, you know, pull their time out of their pocket there. But uh, a fairly good game of this first half, Mitt. Yes, it was. And Dothan scores 14 points. So we'll see how they do the second half. So at halftime, the score is Dothan 14 Carroll High 7, and stay tuned for a fantastic homecoming halftime event. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. Representing the ninth grade from Dothan City Virtual School, Ms. Ayani Anderson. She is the daughter of Cameron and Alicia Anderson. She's being escorted by her father. Ms. Akara French. She's the daughter of Mark Long and Arika French. She's being escorted by her father. Ms. Kayla McNeely. Kayla is the daughter of Christine McNeely. She is being escorted by her mother. They got from side to side. Representing the ninth grade from Carver Ninth Grade Academy, Miss Addison Barnes. She's the daughter of Ashley Sanford. She's being escorted by her mother. Miss Trinity Jones. Trinity is the daughter of Douglas and Susan Jones. She's being escorted by her father. Representing the 10th grade from Dothan City Virtual School, Miss Trinity Jackson. She's the daughter of Alicia Berry. She's been escorted by her grandmother, Mrs. Barbara William. 
Miss Kanaya Salter. She's the daughter of Christine Barber. She's being escorted by her mother. Representing the 10th grade from Dothan High School, Miss Paige Forrester. She's the daughter of Lance and Veronica Forrester, and she's being escorted by her father. Mrs. Kaya Hamilton. She's the daughter of Kayla Reynolds and Jermaine Reynolds. She's being escorted by her father. Mr. Keith Stampley. He's the son of Keith and Sitoria Stampley. He's being escorted by his mother. J.D. Young Walker. He is the son of Jamie's hearing. He's not on the field at the moment, and he's one of our football players. Representing the 11th grade from Dothan High School, Kalicia Jackson. She's the daughter of Renata Doyle. She's being escorted by Jamaria Starr. Ms. Michaela Johnson. She's the daughter of Sharon and Clifton Johnson. She's being escorted by her father. Mr. Wontavious Conley. He's the son of Lashanda Hardaway and Willie Conley. He's a football player and also not on the field at this time. James Culver, Jr. He's the son of Stephanie Wilson and James Culver. He's being escorted by Miss Amelia Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our underclassmen court for tonight's homecoming. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Representing the 12th grade from Dothan City Virtual School, Allison pardo Shiveri. She's the daughter of Maria Pardo and Maria Castillo. She's being escorted by Mr. Tyler Mann. Ms. Tadizia Beckham. She's the daughter of Michelle and Todd Beecham. She's escorted by her father. After high school, she plans to be major in biomedical sciences and molecular medicine and become a pediatric oncologist. Ms. Brianna Lambert, she's the daughter of Alicia Berry. She's being escorted by her mother. After high school, she plans to go to cosmetology school and get her license and then start her own lash business. Ms. Ingrid Espinosa Martinez. She is the daughter of Rosa Martinez and Huberto Espinosa. She's being escorted by her father. After high school, she plans to attend Troy University and major in nursing. Ms. Cambry White. She's the daughter of Ataya White and Christopher Walker. She's being escorted by her mother. After high school, she plans to attend college and major in nursing.
Mr. Elijah Lee. He's the son of Moses and Akisha Lee. He's a football player and not on the field at this time, but he's being represented by his mother, Nikisha Lee. Mr. Quentin Norton. Quentin is the son of Andrea Norton and Raphael Norton. Quentin is also a football player. Mr. Brendan Reynolds. Brendan is the son of Christina Jackson and Hal Reynolds. He's being escorted by his mother. After high school, he plans to major in industrial engineering. Mr. Wesley Peterson. He's the son of Shinoa and Robert Peterson. He's being escorted by his grandmother, Miss Deborah Reynolds. He plans to attend Alabama to present a degree in architectural design and his own, his own business. Yesterday at the pep rally, Wesley was crowned the 2021 Homecoming King. Tonight, we will crown two queens. We will crown a queen representing the Dothan City Virtual School and one representing Dothan High School. At this time, we will crown a queen from the Dothan City Virtual School. The virtual school principal, Ms. Christina Johnson, will be crowning the queen. <clears throat> She's being assisted by Elle Pierce from Highlands Elementary School, the daughter of Gant and Nikki Pierce. The Dothan virtual school queen is Ms. Allison pardue Charay. Let's give another big hand for our Dothan Virtual School Queen. And now, here to crown our 2021 Dothan High School Homecoming Queen is the 2020 Homecoming Queen, Miss Bonnie Lynn. Please join me in welcoming her back here to Ripley Stadium tonight. Ms. Pierce is also assisting in this crowning. At this time, we will crown the 2021 Dothan High School Homecoming Queen. The Queen is Ingrid Espinosa Martinez. Congratulations to both of our Queens and to all of our contestants and all of our attendants. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your homecoming court for 2021. Let's give another big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the pride of the Wolfpack, the award-winning Dothan High School Wolfpack Band.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Dothan High School Pride of the Wolfpack Marching Band. We want to once again thank Carroll High School for allow graciously allowing us to have our guests come with us today. Please stay and watch Carroll after the game. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest. Hello, 
Wilson, pride of the wild grass. We are all the way from thou pride of the swift growing south. Tuskegee University is here. And to our Tuskegee University Nation of Alumni, a big T U. On behalf of Dr. Charlotte Mars, ninth president of Tuskegee University, the entire faculty, staff, student body, alumni, and friends, we bring you greetings from the historic city of Tuskegee. Now prepare yourself for America's oldest marching band among the historic black colleges and universities. Ladies and gentlemen, please give your warmest welcome to the Tuskegee University Marching Crimson Pipers. Tuskegee University, thou pride of the swift growing south, presents this halftime extravaganza featuring 2021 edition of the Martin Crimson Piper Band and the outstanding field direction of drum majors Chris Ellis, Josh Williams, and Stefan Harris. Everything Ski does will always last. Hence, this first half of the show is dedicated to music marvel legend Outcast. celebrating 140 years of excellence and service to the community and the world. Tuskegee University, America's HBCU. Everyone, let's keep an eye on this pandemic. It's not time yet for no limits. So stay safe, one and all. This from the TU family to yours. the director of bands, John Q. Renard, and his entire staff, we'd like to let you know that we are so excited about being in Dolson, Alabama, the pride of the wiregrass. Next, ladies, need no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, the Crimson Piperettes. Thank you. 
Coming at you with the flashes of TikTok, like new sneaks straight out the box. So right here within the wiregrass, it's time to slam. Just jam, Piper's jam. within the wiregrass here in Dothan, Alabama. The band is under the direction of John Q. Leonard and his most capable staff. And so, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, bye-bye.
your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. Welcome back to Ripu Stadium at the fantastic uh, halftime show by the Tuskegee University Band. And um, it was a great halftime. And maybe uh, it will give Dothan a little more momentum going into the second half. They're leading 14 to 7. Yeah, I, I tell you what, if they had the half the energy that Tuskegee did on that performance, then we're in for a treat. A good return out to about the 28-yard line by Dothan. You know, I was in the band at Dothan High Mint, and I tell you what, we <laughs> we weren't <laughs> able to do those types of moves. Yep, it was uh, it was a great performance. I've seen Tuskegee uh, University band perform before, and they always uh, uh, do an outstanding job. They do. They they enjoy what they do, and you can tell it. Yeah, now you want to look over what happened the first half? Yeah, here? absolutely. So what what we had here in the first half was Dothan scored first on a 69-yard punt return for a touchdown by Hornsby with 128 left in the first quarter, which was an amazing play by him. And then Carroll scored on a 65-yard drive that capped off with a 29-yard run by the quarterback, Keyshawn Cole, with 11:22 left in the second quarter. That was the ensuing possession for the Eagles. And then Dothan put together a 61-yard drive with a 35-yard TD pass from Jackson to Blackman to take a 14-7 lead with 257 left in the second quarter. And that was a big run too, Mitt. Yeah, that was that was a good pass that time over to uh, number two for the uh, Wolves. That was uh, Dury. So that was a, a big game for the Wolves, and they're out at midfield that's this drive, well, at the 42-yard line, this drive started on their own 25-yard line, so that was a gain of about 17. And they give it to Flew Allen, who's been outstanding tonight. He gets it across midfield out to about the 49-yard line of Carroll. Man, you know, you said it uh, right when you said that he has really given that offense a spark. I can see it. I mean, he's fast. <laughs> And, and uh, we have a barrier here. Dothan hasn't <laughs> scored over 14 points this season in any one game. So if they can get above 14 this time, it will definitely be. Uh, Let's break that barrier, uh, Mitt. Yeah. Let's, Let's see. That's going to be close to a first down. So it's going to be third and short. Yeah, there's a big difference in third and manageable, third and short, third and two, third and three, then the third and longs that we've had throughout this game. So offense doing a – oh, I say that, and then – Well, do we get a – okay, let's see. I think Dothan just backs up every time because – Well, no penalty. Yeah, okay. they're third, third and about one. Yeah, third and one. Uh-oh. Oh, that was just a good job to get it out. Wow. And going to get the what? first down and some more. Oh. That was Drury. Wow. Wow, man. What looked like it was oh. going to be a totally broken play man. turns into a big game for the Wolves. Man, man, I tell you what, when I do these Dothan games, I, I feel like hair is falling out of my head because it's stressful over here. You think that it's a quarterback sack or, you know, a, a bad snap on the play, and then you look up and, man, the great play by uh, Javier Jackson, man. Uh, and he was able to get it out to his receiver and make a good play. 
Here's Flewellen once again running the ball up the middle again. Uh, you know, and, and those good, those are good plays on first down. And uh, we do have a Dothan player that's hurt on the field. Official timeout on the field. With 9.56 left in the third, the score is Dothan 14, Carroll 7. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. All right, Harris is, uh, was injured on the play, so Dalton has the ball. It's a second and about uh, six. Yeah, this man, I mean, that's that's something to think about here. You know, we, we, we lost Cassius Brady. He hasn't been uh, Brady Cassius. Uh, we have Cassius, Cassius Brady. He hasn't been in the game uh, since he got hurt, and now you got, a, you got another offensive lineman. These linemen keep dropping, and uh, something to see. And then they give it oh, to Blue Ellen. Ellen. I tell you what, Blue Ellen Shoo. picks up the first down, and they don't wow. get him down on the ground. No, oh, man. <laughs> He's little, but it's hard to tackle, you know. it's. Uh, I, I'd say on the offensive side of the ball, he, he's definitely the player of the game so far. Yeah, Blue Ellen, number 12, is definitely came out and uh, giving this Dolphin team a spark. So it's a first and 10. Oh, man. And we had motion, we had movement. So we don't move back up about five yards. So we talked about them uh, shooting themselves in the foot and uh, they, they've just got to cut down on the penalties. And if yeah, they can they ever do. cut down and, and eliminate penalties, they have a lot of potential because that's the thing that's really setting them back. Yeah, first and 15 is a big difference in first and 10. Jackson looks. Oh no. And it's picked off. Oh. oh. And he fumbles oh. it. But I think Shoot. it will stay with Carroll. Wow. Yeah. Javier Jackson, you know, comes back and tries to throw that ball, and, and it looks very similar to the ball that he actually threw for a touchdown uh, in the second quarter. So, uh, you know, I, it, he was he was covered, and so you know you don't want to throw that ball into pressure into that type of situation. But uh, so now the Dothan defense just got to get out here and stop him here. Yeah, Carroll will be starting on their own 13-yard line. That's the first real mistake we've seen from JVR Jackson tonight, though. So uh, you're going to make mistakes at the quarterback position, but uh, it, it really just, it's what you do after that. It's how you respond to that mistake that really matters. So it brings up a first and 10 for Carroll at their own 13 yard line, 925 left in the third. Dothan's leading 14 to seven. Nothing there on the handoff. That was a better job by our defensive front there to stop the running back. Yeah, the stop was uh, Kendra Brewer on the stop. So a uh, gain of, uh, well, actually no gain, so it'll be second and 10. Cole drops back and incomplete. He was trying to hit number seven, who is uh, Jalen Platt. So it brings up a third and 10 for the Carroll High Eagles. do know something just for that halftime performance by Tuskegee. It's really, it's really woken up our our, our Dothan band they're over good. here. They're really excited, and you can hear them real oh, good. Oh yeah, they've come alive. Damn, a timeout on the field with eight 
48 left the third, Nelson 14, Carroll 7. Okay, so it's a third and 10 for the Carroll High Eagles. Cole goes for the screen another pass, screen. it's complete. Oh no. Oh no. And it's enough for a first down. <sighs> All the way out to the 30 yard line. Yeah, man, I mean, I, I don't understand that. The defense has to know that's coming. You know, when you've got a third a third and long like that, you have to look for the screenplay. They've been doing it all night uh, and did it again and picked up the first down. First and 10 from the 30. And they give it to who else other than number four, which is Person. And he yeah. takes it up to the 40. Yeah, Persons had a great game tonight. He is running with a lot of uh, tenacity, uh, and he's doing well. 42-yard line. And that time Cole keeps it, and he picks up a first down. So I tell you what, giving up that big play is giving uh, Carroll some life. Yeah, you know, they get they, they picked up that first down with that screen pass and, and picked up some momentum with it, and now they are flying down the field. They're on the Delta side of the field, and we have a whistle. Seems like whistles are the only thing that's slowing this offense down. I think they were pointing toward the clock, the play clock. It's oh, out yeah. on the uh, north end zone. Yeah, he's looking at it like he needs to look at the other one. <laughs> we got one that's working and one that's not. So maybe he's going to look at that one uh, to the. They're, they're probably going to keep it on the field. If now, they've got one clock that's working, but the other one's not. First and ten. So it's the first and ten from the. 47-yard line of Dothan. And that time, oh, nice. great defensive play by Dothan. And on that stop was number 25. I'm trying to get the number of the other one. Uh, if you ever turn around, and 28. 25 is uh, Connor Cook, and 28 is Kendrell Brewer. We've called his name quite a few times today. Yeah. So loss of about two brings up a second and 12. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Taken down by the ref. A good Man. tackle that time by the ref. That was a close Four. line by the ref. <laughs> I'm not sure he knew what hit him. Person ran into a brick wall. <laughs> the ref looked like he probably used to be a, a, a linebacker or an offensive or defensive lineman. He does. Man, that's a, that's a big break for the, for the Dothan defense there because uh, the, the Zebras helped us out. Person looked like he was going to... Uh, Pick up some more yards, so it's the third and two. He was a little upset there that he got uh, clotheslined by the ref. So Carroll wants the timeout. So with 6.45 left in the third, Dothan leads it 14 to seven. You're watching the Senate Sports Network. <laughs> so we resume in action. So it's a third and about three. It, it said third and three. I think we need to recruit the ref for uh, for Auburn football. So far. <laughs> I mean, he didn't he didn't flinch. I mean, he lit him up. So another Cole, pass, screen pass another again. Screen pass. Oh. And, and they're doing the same thing. Delta's over pursuing. That is killing us. They're over pursuing and um, they're hitting them with the screen pass. I mean, they're killing us with the screen. I, and and Carroll's just like, come on. You know, come after our quarterback. We'll what just you throw doing? it over your head. What, what you do in a case like that, you go like you're going in and drop back. And it gives you the opportunity to pick it off. There's a reason why you're wide open going to the quarterback. Person stopped at, uh, he may have picked up a yard. I think he moved the ball down to about the 
30. A gain of one. Thinking that quarterback may have thought it was third down, but no, but no gain on the play. Uh, so it's a second and ten. Oh, great! Oh, nowhere that time for person, and who brought him down again? Number twenty-eight, Kendrell Brewer. Yeah, great play by Kendrell Brewer there. He's had a he's had a pretty nice game tonight. We've called his name a couple of times, and uh, you know it, it's great to to get some pursue to be able to pursue the runner in the backfield like that. And now this is a big third down, Mitt. I would definitely watch for the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have to say that twice. So Cole is the quarterback in the backfield with him. It's number four person. Cole, they go for the oh, screen. It's the screen again. Oh. oh. And a I'm good there. defensive play that time by Dothan. I believe it was number six. And maybe. maybe. Was it six or 28, or was it both of them? Ty Martin, I think, was in, and, okay. and Brewer. Yeah, great defensive play, but, you know, defense, uh, Dothan's got to get uh, back on the defensive side here because they're going for it with fourth and 17. If, defense, if the defense can stop them here, we're going to have decent field position. Oh, oh, get him, get him. Oh, no. Oh, don't pick that. All right. So it goes out of bounds. Great pursuit that time by the Dothan uh, defense because they ran him out of the pocket, and he had to scramble and wind up throwing the ball away. Yeah, yeah. Great job by Dothan's defense there. Really came up big, and now we're going to be able to have the ball in great field position. The reason why I didn't say I didn't want the defense to pick it off right there was because he threw it down to like the 10 yard line and if our defense would have picked the ball off instead of uh, starting from the uh, 35 yard line, we would have been starting from the 10. So it's a good uh, good awareness there to uh, not be in bounds with the interception there. So Dothan starting at their own 36 yard line. Jackson is the quarterback. He hands it off to Octavius. And uh, he did a good job, Octavius Thomas. And he picks up, he's close to the first down. Yeah, you know, I'd really like to see. It seems like that they know, okay, we're going to put you know, put Octavius in this drive. We're going to put Fluellen in this drive. But I'd really like to see them you know, spread it out and uh, give both of the guys, you know, uh, an, uh, oh, and then it's going to be a first down. So but a good run that time by, by Octavius um, Thomas. Picks up 10. And they give it to uh, Octavius again, and he picks up about six more. I tell you, he's starting to get rolling. Uh, Thomas is. He is. He is. And, and the thing is, you know, and what I was kind of saying, if they share the carries, then they won't get gassed themselves. Uh, if if Fluellen and – Octavius was to share it, then I think that would be uh, that would be great. So it brings up a second and five for the Wolves. And they give it to Thomas again. He oh, gets man. the first down and more. He moves it down to the 40-yard line of Carroll. And see, if, and now if, if you're Dothan, you're seeing here, now you've got Carroll a little bit gassed on defense. They've been out most of, the, uh, most of this second half. And so you just got to take advantage of it and run it down their throat like they have been. I, I love what I'm seeing here. Thomas again, he plows over a defender for the Eagles and he picks up about eight. Yeah, yeah I mean, you got to give you got to give props to the offensive line tonight. I mean, you know, we've talked about, you know, the snaps been a little a little uh, bit off, but the offensive line has done a great job tonight. Second and two. They give it to and Thomas again, again, and he gets the first down. He's still on his feet, Man. and he's brought down he's inside got, the 30. He's got to be tired by now, you know. I, I just, I'd like to see him kind of switch it up with Fluellen a little bit, 
and just give him a rest, but uh, they're, they're just going to keep running him. Uh, he is coming out now. And in is uh, number five, Peterson. Well, I haven't seen him tonight, I don't think. They give it to Peterson. He bounces to the outside, and he picks up about seven. Oh, but we have a no. flag. Yeah, that's going to be holding on the, on the Dothan Wolves. Man, gosh, this is such a good drive. You're, I mean, you're pounding the ball, and now with a hold call and a mistake, now you're right back where you started. So that will make it a first and 20. You know, one thing that we really haven't kind of talked about is the fact that, you know, yes, they're, they're moving the ball and they're running the ball, and it is that clock is ticking over there. Yes, we're down to 2.06 left in the third. Oh, a good, whoa. Oh, okay. Good run. I'll tell you, those fresh legs from Peterson, and he picks up a first down. He ripped off about 21 on that one. Yeah, I was over here holding my – oh, no. We got a flag. And it happened after the play. Yeah, I think this one is going to go on Carroll, it looks like, this time maybe. It may have been a face mask. But I tell you, switching out these uh, – yes, it's against Carroll. Okay. Uh, switching out these running backs with fresh it's, legs has yep. made a difference. It's made a huge difference. And uh, I was just over here kind of holding my breath because whenever you you kind of string the play out to, to, to either side of the field, you've got to really look out for those receivers holding those other defenders. And so I was really holding my breath because I, I really thought that that was pretty close there. But, you know, uh, Dothan did a great job, and he was able to get to the outside um, – Peterson, like you were talking about. And it's great to see that they're switching it out, kind of like I was talking about. So, Dothan's inside the 10 yard line. And, and Peterson goes forward for a couple of yards. So, it's going to bring up second and goal. Yeah, man, I'd like to see a little bit more speed on the field here. They're going to bring number two. Uh, Dury in, and looks like Fluellen is also coming in for Peterson. So look for Fluellen here. He's got, he's got some elusive, uh, he's elusive back there. 109 left. They give it to Fluellen, and he gets it down to about the five. Mm. Yeah, they're in a tough position here on the field. You're looking at a third down, but. You know, we've ran the ball very well through in this drive. But what do you do here, Mitt? Do you throw or do you run? Because that's what you've been doing. Yeah. Uh -uh. You, you definitely don't. don't know. You definitely, you definitely <laughs> don't want to put yourself in. Hey, hey, this is like breaking a sound barrier, okay? <laughs> if they score here, it's like breaking a sound barrier. <laughs> Delton hasn't been able to score with 14 points. This Mitt year. just wants us to get past 14. 14. I think if we get past 14. Oh, that's a it's a move. Oh, oh down gosh. at the one. Whew. That was Man, a good move that time by uh, so Dury. Oh, gosh. Do you go for it? Hey, it it really looked like the, they were planning on Whew. kicking on the, the ball. On the one-yard line. Do you go for it or do you go with the uh, field goal attempt? Mitt, I got to tell you, I, I'd go for it here. You know, I understand you want to, you know, break the barrier with, uh, with it, you know, going up 14, but I think it's huge right here with going up by seven and just going up by three. So we've come to the end of three quarters of the play, and the score is Dothan 14, Carroll 7. We'll be back with the fourth quarter of action after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Lewis Smith Supply is dedicated to offering a vast collection of fixtures, faucets, and accessories for your kitchen and bath. 
Make your dreams a reality. Step into the area's only Kohler Premier Showroom or see Delta's Brizo Collection for the latest trends in kitchen and bathroom designs. Lewis Smith Supply offers an extensive line of plumbing supplies for contractors or do-it-yourselfers. For more inspiration, come visit one of our showrooms in Dothan or Enterprise. Welcome back to Ripview Stadium. We're beginning the fourth quarter play. I'm Mick Kirkland along with the Gavin Thomas. And Dothan is taking on Carroll High of Ozark. And it's Dothan 14, Carroll 7. Dothan has fourth and goal from inside the one-yard line. Yeah, and I, I don't like this look, Mitt. Uh, they, these are players that don't usually have the ball in their hands, but this is a very important play. It's going to be close. I, I think they're going to say he's down, Mitt. I see this ref coming in now. Wow, a goal line ah. stand. So that 14-point barrier stands. <laughs> oh, Mitt. I'm sorry, brother. Maybe it'll come later. Wow. But I just, done, I just did not like that play call, Mitt. Like, you were doing so well. Why, why fit? Why not? What's, what's the same? You don't fix what's. Dothan turns it over on there on the one yard line. It was fourth and one, and they couldn't punch it in. You don't fix what's not broke. Is that right, man? Right, right. And so I, I thought you have, you have three running backs that could run that ball in the, in the, in the end zone. Fluellens played really well tonight. Octavius was a monster on that drive. And then you also had Peterson that came in with fresh legs that was playing very well. All three of those would have been able to punch the ball in the end zone, I believe. They decided to go with a, a little bit of a wildcat situation and and uh, give props to Carroll. They knew it was coming. So Carroll starts at the their own one yard line. It looked like we're oh, gonna have a safety. Uh -oh. we may well, he may have gotten out of the end zone. I think it's forward progress. We we may. Oh, safety. Yeah, safety. You're going to have your 16 they break points. They the barrier. Dothan All right. goes up 16, <laughs> over 14 points for the first time. Well, it wasn't exactly how you kind of drew it up, Mitt, but uh, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 16 is more than 14, so. And they uh, get the ball. And we get the ball back. Uh, so, great job. Dothan defense, again, rising up uh, for the challenge. Knew that it was going to be uh, with the offense kind of de deflated a little bit. Uh, that defense came in and was able to get the job done. Wow. So, Dothan uh, scores. They break the barrier. They couldn't break <laughs> that the one-yard line, but the defense oh. showed up, and they broke the barrier uh, on Carroll at the one-yard line, and they got a safety. So, uh, Dothan goes up 16-7. to <laughs> And uh, they will get the ball, and we'll see if they can keep that momentum yeah, yeah. going. They I hope 16's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, what's ironic? In the uh, first game of the year, which was an exhibition game, they played up in Montgomery at the kickoff classic. Right. Dalton put up 42 points. And we haven't seen that We since. haven't seen that. They look very good and explosive, a lot of speed. But I think right. they've gotten where – I know there's been some injuries. Some injuries, too. yeah. And, and penalties, every time they get something going, they commit a penalty we and get them behind the chain, and it just it's just downhill. But they, yeah. they, they doing a better job tonight. They are. Of, uh, yeah, and there's been penalties and been mistakes, but it's just how you respond. And they've responded well. And we're going to have a pretty good field position, it looks like, ball to is, start. The ball is taken on the. Oh, he's, he's gone. Wow. Nice. Another great nice return. run by Dury. Down to the 40. I think he took that one at about the 10, 50, about a uh, 
62 yard return. He had a lot of green grass in front of him. I thought he was gone, but uh, Carroll did a good job of stopping him there. But, I mean, you got to look here. I mean, our, our Dothan offense now has got the ball. And, uh, man, they're in great field position. And I think you go back to the run. I, I think you, you, you pound it with Peterson. You bring Flew Ellen back in. And you run it with him with some speed. And also you get, can't forget about Octavius, who's done well also. So uh, Peterson is in the background backfield with uh, – and Peterson breaks through. Clark. Oh, man. Peterson takes it inside the 20. Yeah, great, great run by Peterson. We talked about his fresh legs since he's came in. And uh, they were on a linebacker blitz there from number 17. And he got a pretty good lick on uh, our, our quarterback, Javier. And uh, he may be a little gimpy, but he's doing well to get back up and, and get it going. Here he goes again. again. Oh, and flag. We have a flag. So I don't know what's what's going on yeah, there. That, that's a that's another one uh, that that's right there in the uh, position of holding. Yeah, uh, I see Carol pointing toward Dothan. Man, those holding calls have killed us, Mitt. Killed us. I think it, it was literally that was maybe a, that, the was a, that was a 20-yard return. Oh, 20 yard? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, uh, not 20 yard return, but a 20 yard run. 21 yard run from Peterson? Peterson, yeah. Oh. So, Dothan uh, will be first and 20. Ooh. And that time, Carroll did a, a good job of stopping Peterson. That was number five for Carroll. Jaquez Strong, man, yeah. that was a great play by Jaquez Strong. He just came over from the uh, from the right side and and came behind Peterson, who was not able to get going. So it's uh, second and eighteen. Octavius Thomas. Thomas tools for it. And he gets inside the 20. It's more manageable now. I, I tell you what, a, a lot of this Dothan team is managing all the talent you have. You know, just looking at it, and, and I say on the offensive and the defensive side of the ball, and it's impressive to me to see these uh, this offensive line. Two of your starting offensive linemen have gone out tonight, but you wouldn't have you wouldn't be able to tell it because the offensive line is pushing the defensive line off the ball. Two of the starters. Jackson drops back. Oh, Just great it's play! Caught inside the five. <laughs> Great play by Raymond Blackman there just to go up and grab that at its highest point. So it's first and goal for the Wolves, and they had first and goal on their last possession, but they stopped short. It was stopped at the one yard line. Yeah, you got to let Octavius Thomas get this touchdown here. They give it to Thomas. And he's hit. He bounces off. Oh, and he moves forward. Oh, Boy, man, it's going to be close to a first uh, to a touchdown. They're going to say he's down before he got to the end zone. But uh, I say you try it one more time. I think he's got it in him. What do you say? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and it, oh, we have a flag. What? Like we said, flag Laundry day. night. Flag Laundry day. night. <laughs> man. My wife needs to get up here and do some laundry. <laughs> Uh, Shout out to all the wives out there. <laughs> I do my own laundry. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sometimes. I'm not allowed to touch it, so. <laughs> uh, let's see who the flag is on. That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh, my goodness. It's against the Eagles. Okay. So it'll be well, half the distance to the goal not, line. There's not much they can move it forward, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, a foot or two. So the ball is inside the two-yard line. Second and goal. Second and goal. 
I want to compliment the stadium. It's looking really good, all the work they're doing out here. Yeah, they're doing a great job. We've seen the light show a couple of times. They're doing a good job of, of uh, getting the crowd involved with the light show. So really excited about what's to come here at Ripu Stadium. Jackson. Ooh. There it is. And he takes it into the end zone. Octavius Thomas from TR. Touchdown Wolves. Uh, Octavius Thomas again. I, you know, I, I, I kind of caught it. Like uh, I knew he had it in him, and uh, they were able to punch it in. And I tell you what, uh, there's a new barrier to break because it looks like our new score, our new uh, right. more point, the most points that we've scored at least it, that wasn't in an exhibition is most likely going to be 23 at this point. Okay, here's the extra point attempt by William McCarthy. Milton's leading 22 to seven. Up, and it looks like it's good. So McCarthy knocks it through, and Dothan goes up by a score of uh, 22, 23, excuse me, 23, 23. to seven with 9.06 left in the fourth. Put together, it, it was a 37-yard drive because a, a, a good uh, punt return put them in great field position. They had a couple of, they stalled a couple of times. Uh-oh, well, probably going to be the layup game. Let's yeah. see what the call is. We've had some issues with the play No, it could clock. be a sideline warning. I saw him point over that way. Yes, I, I think it was a sideline warning. Oh, okay. Okay. Dothan set for the kickoff. I tell you what, this Dothan team came to play tonight, and they're giving this Dothan crowd that came out to cheer tonight something to cheer about on this homecoming night. It's been an exciting night tonight. Uh, Dothan uh, – it's done well, and the halftime show and all of the uh, pre-game activities and all, it, it's, it's, been, it's been exciting. It's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah. And, well, man, we're now. A penalty. <laughs> it, yeah, it was a. Dothan will be kicking off from the uh, Carroll side of the field. They'll be kicking off from the 45-yard line. If they get another penalty, we may be kicking a field goal. That he could probably. That's how. Hit that's it how. From here. <laughs> that's how uh, close we are. Did you see that 66-yard oh, field goal the other night? <laughs> Justin Tucker, what a player! That is a man amongst boys out there kicking field goals. So, uh, Carroll, it's a touchback. So Carroll will be starting on the 20-yard line. They're on 20. And we have 9.06 left. And I, I want to remind you something I forgot to remind everybody about tonight is about the Scenic Sports Network YouTube channel. So tune in to the Scenic Sports Network YouTube channel. We have probably 300 games on there uh, starting in 2000, year 2000. So over the past 21 years, and I'm quite sure your favorite team is on there too. So this game will be shown on our YouTube channel. So, and make sure you subscribe and get notifications. Ooh, boy. Oh. I'll tell you okay. what. Cole has some speed. Uh, yeah. Wow. Keyshawn Cole looks a little mad right now at the scoreboard, and he's taking it out on wow. the, the defense right now. What a great run. 33 yards. Wow, Cole, he, he played that one. He's got a lot of speed. He's got tons of speed, and he's got a he's got a decent arm, too. I, I've i been very impressed with what he's been able to do. The Dothan defense has done a good job of kind of bottling him up on the run. So it brings up a first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Going deep. Cole goes oh. deep. He's wide open. It's caught. Touchdown. Well, three three quick plays, man, and they're they're way back in this game. <laughs> that was a 43-yard touchdown pass. 
Shoof. That was all Keyshawn Cole on that drive, Mitt. Yes. You got 30, you have a 35 yard run, and then you cap it off with a, what'd you say it was? A 43 a yard. 43 yard bomb to a wide open receiver where our defensive back looked lost. I mean. So it's a 23-13 game. We'll see if they go for two. Looks like they are. Still a lot of time left in this game. Tons of time. So that Dothan defense doesn't need to get too ex And two-point conversion is good. Uh-oh. So it makes it Dothan 23 and Carroll 15. It looked like this game was right over just a, a minute or so ago. Yeah. And, and that only took that drive only took 51 seconds. Wow. That was quick. <laughs> I mean. 51 you, seconds. I mean, you can't Excuse draw me, it see. up. Yeah, 40, 40, 40. yeah 51 you seconds. You can't draw it up better than that. Oof. Well, let's hope that this Dothan offense can take some time off the clock here uh, in this next possession because we are uh, – we're doing well, but we can't just uh, sit, sit on, on it. it. <laughs> no, we can't. We'll see if they try to go for an onside kick here. I would definitely be looking for one. Wow, yeah, two looks plays. Like, looks like Dothan's down kind of looking at it like they may do something. Two-play 80-yard drive. I think now they may kick it. Yeah. I think they were going to onside kick a mitt, and then Ball they realized. taking it the 11. Oh, Whoa, oh, go. I think oh. he may go. Uh, oh. He needs a block. Oh. He needs oh. a block. Hold on to the ball. Any flags? Any Touchdown. flags? Touchdown. No Any flag. laundry? The no laundry. The laundry. No laundry. <laughs> all right. right. 89 yards. Took it all the way back. Man. Wow. That was That's the way you answer. Man, that is that was electrifying. I, he took that ball all the way back to the end zone. Is this, how many yards you say? 89. 89. He took it on the 11 11 ooh, yard ooh, line. Ooh. Man. I mean, you know, he's had a couple of them that have almost gone He's had a punt return, right? Yeah, they had a punt return for a touchdown and a kickoff Shoo. return for a touchdown. That was about like Williams the other night. He missed the extra point. All right. So Dothan goes up by a score of 29, 15. Man, this is an it's a weird score, Mitt. You don't see 29, 15 very often in, fo in football. But with with a with a safety, a two point conversion, and a missed extra point, that's what you're gonna get. And <laughs> that play took uh, 12. Let's see, 13 seconds. So we've had a 51 <laughs> second drive for Eagles, and then Dothan comes back and takes 13, 13 seconds off the clock and scores a touchdown. Yeah, it was 8:45 left in the fourth when uh, the Eagles scored. And it's 8.32 left. Man, I don't know how you're keeping <laughs> up over there. This is just fireworks going off yeah. for the homecoming game here. Dothan has finally doubled their scoring output True. this year. This is the first time they've gone over 14 points, and they've uh, got 29. But and they've got it. They got now, it. It's still time. Eight and a half minutes is a long time. There's a lot, there's a lot of time left. But, you know, you got to think about it. That's 14 points for the special teams. Right. I'd say the special teams has got an A on the report card so far tonight. Ooh, Good great hit. tackle. They'll stop at about the 28-yard line. All right, now, defense, I'd be watching Keyshawn Cole wherever he goes. Right. You better go. They did. They had a two-play 80-yard touchdown drive their last possession. So, uh... 
We got 825 left in the fourth. Dothan's uh, leading 29 to 15. And maybe this will be a turning point for the uh, program this year. I, yeah, this would be a great turning point for the program if we can get you, you get you get excited about this offense and how they're playing. Good stop that time. Nowhere to run that great time. Great job by number 20, 25, Connor Cook. Just he, he shot out of a cannon. We've, we've called his name a couple of times tonight. Yeah, he's playing well. Second and 10 for the Eagles. Quick out. Uh -oh. Whoa, Ooh, big hit. And we got a flag. Oh, watch out, watch out. We got a flag. Yeah, that, that uh, looked like maybe a little bit of an illegal block maybe there uh, by Carroll. It looked like maybe another swing pass. And, uh, oh, holding. Okay. So holding call on the Carroll Eagles. That's going to back them up 10 yards. And our Dothan defense is pretty pumped about that right now. Just got to keep it going with this Dothan defense here. The uh, Carroll offense will now start back uh, second down on their own 20 or 19 yard line. So uh, let's see if this defense, this Dothan defense can bear down and back these Eagles up even further. And, uh Time is becoming a factor. We're down to 7.38 left in the fourth. But we know the Eagles can strike, and they can strike fast. Yes. And he was brought down by uh, Tucker Watkins. It's yeah, you really wouldn't think he's Jason that Jason Thomas. Jason Thomas was on the stop. You really wouldn't think he's that quick, but he is very quick. So it's a third and four. He keeps it. Whoa! Oh, good. And the tackle. ball pops out, but I think they're going to say it was down. <laughs> that was a good hit Dang. that time by. Uh, Golly, Wontavious Conley. Man, Wontavious Conley just came up and. That, that, uh, it was the first down, but he paid for it. Oh, <laughs> that, yeah, that was a big hit. I'm not sure from this roster we have, I'm not sure if that was right, but number 14, that was a massive hit by number 14. So timeout on the field with four, with a 6.47 left in the fourth. Dothan leads at 29 to 15. You're watching the City Sports Network. So Carroll has a first and 10, just shy of the 40 yard line. We're down at 6.47 left in the fourth. Oh, they put in a different, uh, they, they put in a different quarterback and he's probably faster. <laughs> yes, uh, that was a, uh, well, we have a number seven that says uh, Jalen Plot. Uh, that's a quick little wide out over there that's uh that went in for uh Keyshawn Cole and I'm looking over there on the sideline to see if maybe Keyshawn Cole's a little shaken up but I don't see him oh yeah he, he got hit pretty hard on that first down play right yes he's not in there now yeah I think he's yeah, they brought in number seven. That's a big blow for the Eagles if he's not able to come back in the game. Whoa. And that is Person. Man. And he rips off Gosh. a bunch of yards. It's down to the 40-yard line of Dothan. 
I mean, the, the good thing of those plays is it does keep the clock running, but you've got your defense has got to really step up and stop him. Man. Better, better, better job by our defensive front that time. Yeah, and on that stop was uh, oh, I James Doughty. No gain on the play, so it brings up a second and ten. Just over six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Great oh, they, job. They're keying in on Pearson, Pearson now. He may have picked up one. Yeah, man, I, I, think, I, I, I think I may see uh, Keyshawn Cole in the tent over there on the far side. I'm, I'm really using these glasses really hard, but uh, – I think uh, he may may have been shaken up on that first first down play, like you said. It was a big hit. Yeah. Ty Martin on the stop for Dothan. Third and ten. Oh, another screen play. Thankfully, it was overthrown. So it brings up a fourth down. Fourth and right at 10. Fourth and 10. This, this could be it. If yeah, Dothan makes a stop here, they can pretty much run the clock out. Yeah, you're exactly right. This is a big play. Oh, another screen pass. This one's not going to get there, I don't think. No. Mitt. And yeah. on the stop was uh, Zay was uh, number one. Yeah, the, the Cary Eagles were really kind of in a position where uh, they didn't want to be with their starting quarterback going out and having your backup quarterback come in. I think I probably would have ran that quarterback a little bit more because he's, man, that's quick. But uh, I, we really hope that uh, Keyshawn Cole's going to be okay over there uh, on the other side. But for Dothan here, you just got to be able to run the clock out with your your uh, your stall of running backs that we've seen tonight. So Dothan will be starting on their own 34-yard line. <laughs> and poor – a good move that time by Peterson. He picks up about eight or nine. I think they're going to give him nine. Second and one. Four forty two left in the fourth. Jackson is a quarterback. Mm. Carroll defense did a good job there. Getting through the uh, the offensive line for the first time really tonight to, to really uh, get some pressure on those running backs. Uh, Jaquez Strong in on the stop for Carroll. And really, in order for the Eagles to really have a shot at winning this game, they have to stop Dothan right here on third and three. Thomas in the backfield. Oh, that's going to give him offside. Yeah, great, great job by Dothan there. For a little cadence to get the Carroll Eagles to jump, which is going to give Dothan the automatic first down. And, just watch this clock tick on down. So it's a first and 10 for Dothan from the 40, their own 46 yard line. They are not going to be in any hurry, Mitt. They are just going to let that clock roll. Yeah, let the play clock roll. You don't even have to snap it now. And Thomas. Goes ahead for a couple of yards. Yeah, as long as Dothan just runs it out, and no penalties, no mistakes here, uh, especially when you're running the ball, it's really easy to get up in there and 
you know, start chirping with the other team that's very frustrated because they've played a good game tonight. Uh, the Carroll has, has played a, a good game. They just weren't able to have the big plays uh, in the special teams like we were able to. That's the difference in this game, special teams play. Mm -hmm. Two a ret uh, uh, punt return for a touchdown and a kickoff return for a touchdown. Both by Dury. Yeah, right here, you just got to be really careful with uh, these players because they're uh, – it looks like we do have another flag. I thought uh, I thought you went ahead and did the laundry already. Uh, Nick, you said that, you that did That was your uh, Hornsby with it. Oh, Hornsby, sorry. Did the 69-yard uh, so, uh, punt return. For so uh, the punt return was Hornsby and the kickoff return was Dury. Man, that just shows you all the talent that Dothan has. They just have to be able to put it on the field and, and, and manage the talent that they have, which can be difficult, complex at times. So it's a third and five. And uh, we're down to two minutes and 44 seconds left in the fourth. Nelson is letting the play clock wind down to the final few seconds before they snap the ball. That time, Thomas is stopped short of the first down, so it's fourth down. We'll see if they just go for it here on fourth down. Yeah, I think I would if I was Dothan here. And, uh, you know, uh, Carroll, have already, they've already used all their timeouts, so they don't have any timeouts to stop the clock or anything. So let's see. It'll be 130-something when they have to snap the ball. 133 when they have to snap the ball. Yeah, they, they may, may take they a may time out. Yeah, I was about to say, they don't look like they want to line up at the moment, so they may run this thing down, take a timeout. Yeah, with 134 left in the fourth, Dothan leads at 29-15. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game? You know, I, I didn't necessarily know what to think coming into this game because I haven't really been able to watch Dothan High too much this season. Uh, but I tell you what, just to me, it's the talent. There's so much talent on this football team, on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. Javier Jackson's shown a lot of poise being in the pocket. He's made some throws tonight that I did not expect him to make. And then you've got some guys stepping up that I've not seen play like Ellen who had a fantastic game. Um, and then uh, Peterson coming in and the fourth quarter was just great to be able to, to, to put fresh legs on the field. Uh, but, you know, again, those special teams, to be able to put 14 points on the board is, you know, just astronomical. Uh, you know, you, you do your job on the offense and the defensive side of the ball, but if you can get anything with special teams – that's just a bonus, and you got two bonuses. Watford bike to punt, and he he's a good punter. Yeah, he's he's got a leg. That's another that's another one right there. That wow. punter has really changed the game. Uh, we saw him flip the field a couple of times tonight. <laughs> that may have been his his punt the, in the first half may have been the best punt that I've seen. And a high school football game. 70 yards. <laughs> you you don't see that even in the NFL. Yeah. That's how good that punt was. Yes, yeah, so our hats off to Adam Watt, but he's done a great job uh, punting tonight. Heck of a job. Uh, I, I got to also give my hat, hats off to the offensive line for Dothan. Played a great game. Was able to get you know, uh, was able to give Javier Jackson a lot of time in the pocket. And then you got to give your hats off to the, the defensive line. You know, that, that was a big safety they had down there uh, in the fourth quarter. 
uh, where, you know, we had kind of been deflated on offense because we weren't able to get it in the end zone. I think that was a big play, and I, I hope that our defense can build from that type of safety. That was person on the carry, nothing there. What do you think, Ben? I mean, you've you've been uh, – You've kind of been in a couple more deep Dothan games than I have, and, and what do you, what have you seen tonight that maybe you haven't seen a whole year? Well, uh, once they stopped committing a bunch of penalties, they started getting some things done. You know, if you look at the first half, they committed a lot of penalties, but you look at the production in the second half, you know, and, and that's the thing they got to work on is – not committing penalties, cutting down on the number of penalties. Mm -hmm. And um, they've shown a lot of speed and, and depth, too, because they've been able to switch out running backs. Fresh oh, yeah. legs have made oh, a yeah. difference in this game. They, they found themselves a, a, a running back core for sure. Um, I, I'd, I'd love to see some of these receivers, you know, really get a shot at, at, at some sometimes. So. Uh, you just got to be able to work in the, th the the throw, the passing game, with that great running game. And I think Dothan's got a, a, a shot at, 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 at knocking off and upsetting some pretty good teams in the uh, region. Yeah, so the final score is Dothan uh, 29 and Carroll 15. So uh, it was uh, a good game tonight. Dothan uh, – Put up 14 points off special teams uh, in a, a, a return, a punt return for a touchdown, which was a 69-yard touchdown punt return by Hornsby, and then a 89-yard kickoff return by Dury. So, you know, two touchdowns off special teams. That's something to be proud of. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And, and again, I, the defense played a great game tonight. There was, you know, some, some interceptions. I uh, didn't see a fumble, I don't believe. But they the dealt them one, one turnover, and that was the interception. Right, right. And so you limit your turnovers. You have big plays in your special teams. And uh, – yeah, that's a recipe to win. <laughs> yes, it is. So Dothan wins it by a score of 29 to 15. And uh, we'd like to thank the Tuskegee University Band for putting on an outstanding halftime show. Man, that was fun. And I, I tell you what, I, you can say what you want, but our team came out with so much more energy after that performance. Uh, maybe we can just get Tuskegee to play every, <laughs> uh, every home game and uh, – yeah. We'll be good to go. They play on Saturday, so hey, how about y'all? Yeah, just come on come down. On to, come on nights. down and uh, <laughs> play for us Friday night. Get a little practice run in, and then you can uh, head back to Tuskegee and do your thing. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for us tonight from Red Pew Stadium, where the Dothan Wolves win at 29 to 15 over the Carroll High Eagles. On behalf of our cameraman tonight, Willie Elder, and my co-host tonight, Gavin Thomas. This is Mick Kirkin saying good night and thanks for watching the Scenic Sports Network. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. <laughs>